May profits be upon you. Welcome to another daily analysis. We're going to try and get something in here for this morning before the New York Stock Exchange open. All right. Uh, I think the best bet today are metals. And I'm speaking specifically of gold and silver. Now, let's look at gold. What do you see here? This is on the daily uh, time frame. I mark the true open. You see where it's at in the candle on today's candle, right? We've we've uh, opened bullish, pulled back, and what I'm hoping is that it doesn't turn uh, bearish and start heading down towards these lows. We've taken yesterday's high, uh, uh, Monday's high already, and it's reaching towards uh, my. Uh, my weekly target here, and uh, this would take over. This would uh, this would uh, be the, uh, the taking the taking of the uh, previous weekly high here. That if we if we can get it, and this is my uh, uh, longer term uh, um, uh, and very reachable goal, uh, uh, right right at uh, two thousand. Well, let's call it twenty eight hundred. Now. Do we think that this is going to go up? The way you, you the way you want to look at it is by going down one time frame and seeing if we can see some uh, bullish fair value gaps in this this uh, wick. All right. If we go down to the four hour, what you can see is that we do have a uh, a bullish fair value gap here. Right. That's a four hour bullish fair value gap. Price is already stung into it, all right. And I'm thinking that that we may that it's already used, and that uh, I don't want to see price go past the halfway mark of this uh, of this of this wick, all right. So what I'm looking for is on the true open is price. You know, if you think of the uh, um, uh, a price of uh, uh, pushing down and then uh, coming back up you want to see price do the uh, do the uh, uh, the the AMD the accumulation the manipulation and distribution so what are we doing right now all right this may that we may be in the manipulating mood all right uh, the, the manipulating uh, phase of this thing all right and uh, but it's, we're talking about the power of three and I'm looking for price to hit this area here. The reason why that's marked, if we go down to the one hour, you can see this is a very large wick. And I like, you know, like if you've been watching my videos, I like to see price not uh, wick down to about the halfway mark of these large wicks and then then uh, turn around. I'm looking for that to happen today. It looks pretty. It looks like we have a lot of uh, momentum to the downside. We'll see. We'll see how how that lasts. I'm looking for that wick, all right. And uh, if it doesn't happen, it takes that low. Well, then we'll probably be looking at a bearish day, and that uh, we are, will be heading towards these lows down here. Okay. So this is I, I am bullish on the day. I am bullish on the day based on based on um, uh, price coming coming from this. There's fair value gap on the daily, and we we push higher. We have an inside inside bar here, and then we push higher on today's candle. I'm looking for that to continue on to take over that previous weekly high. If we go to the uh, if we go to silver, silver I think is in a better position. Honestly, look at look at the look at how how it moved high. We we'll pull back high higher, right? A higher high. We pull back and then we shoot up this this constitutes a uh, a um, a weekly fair value gap that price has tapped into all right it's already taken you know if i, I could mark i could easily mark the daily here all right but we've already we've already used it we've already tapped into it a number of times already so but you can tap into the weekly a, a, a few times or right, more than once and uh it'll still be good to launch price higher 
So I have the true open here, which is at midnight, of course. And uh, you can see that when price opened up, it opened up bullish. You see how we're pulling back. But this isn't pulling back as much as uh, gold is. Gold is now a, bear, a bearish candle. and But uh, you can see how strong uh, silver is, right? I have the uh, previous weekly high and I have uh, my weekly high here, uh, a weekly uh, target here. Both of these are my targets for target number one, target number two. But how do we know if price will want to go higher? We've already taken yesterday's high and the previous and Friday's high. How do we know? We go down one time frame, right? And we do not have that bullish fair value gap, but you can see prices pulling back, going higher, pulling back, going higher. It's steadily eating its way up. All right. It, 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 that's that's encouraging. And we've broken these highs here. All right. And you can expect price to pull back after after taking a high. All right. Uh, but uh, uh, we have another high to take here. This is a, a more important high uh, because uh, uh, it's it's not as intermediate. But what you want is the swing high. This is a swing high for these one, two. These are fractal highs. These are even less so. This is uh, signaling though that price may be turning around to the bullish side after we uh, responded, reacted to the uh, tapping of the weekly high here. All right. Now I'm going to go down even further to the one hour on the silver on on the um, on the one hour time frame. Sorry, uh, I'm speedballing here. You can see that there, we have a bullish fair value gap here. Price is tapped into it as it pulls back. What I'd like to see is price be supported here. Find support on the uh, bullish fair, fair value gap on the hourly and continue higher. That's what I'd like to see. There's the chance that price comes down to take this this uh, fractal low here, all right, and uh, uh, and then turns around. But if we take this low, we may come back into this low, and uh, if if it if it does that, I, I'm not I'm not I'm thinking that uh, there's a chance. If we take this low, I'm thinking there's a good chance that we may be heading towards these lows. But uh, I'd like, I, this is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see price uh, hold here and continue higher. We've closed above these highs. So uh, that's, that's, uh, some, that's a pretty uh, bullish uh, indicator. But uh, this is on the hourly. And uh, if I can find price uh, supported here, I go down to the five hour, a uh, five hour, <laughs> the five minute, and look for a bullish entry. Look for a buy on this uh, this bullish fair value gap. Now, again, we do not have that same support on the four hour, but uh, we do have this. Uh, 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 there's a chance that we may see price turn bullish here and shoot higher. As it has already uh, gave, given us the power of three going below the uh, true open and then displacing above it, I'm looking for price to uh, pull back a little bit and then uh, continue higher to these the local high and uh, and then the uh, swing high. I hope you find a benefit in this analysis. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel so you can catch or more um more updates i'll see you in the next video